Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. As stated in some of our previous videos, people can often get x-ray radiation and radioactivity mixed up. It's easy to do. The terms are similar. The concepts are even similar. However, there is a big difference between the two. Let's first address the meaning of radiation and radioactivity. Radiation is the emission or giving off of electromagnetic waves or moving subatomic particles. Now this can be achieved through a number of ways, including an x-ray machine, a nuclear reactor, particle accelerators, or by natural causes. An x-ray tube emits x-ray photons. A nuclear reactor creates radioisotopes. The sun emits gamma rays, and even soil and rocks can generate radon. So the actual giving off of particles or rays constitutes radiation. Now, within these elements that give off radiation, some will emit radioactive particles. These particles are called either alpha or beta particles, depending on their origin or charge. Some will also emit gamma rays or neutrons. Unstable substances like radon, radium, uranium, and some types of lead are the culprits that emit these unstable atoms. Radioactivity, like radiation, also means the emission of electromagnetic waves, but it has an added layer. When a substance is radioactive, it will give off these unstable radioactive particles for a significantly longer period of time. So if a person is in close proximity to these radioactive substances, they are susceptible to subatomic particles and gamma rays that are dangerous to living cells. If a person enters an x-ray room immediately after an x-ray has been administered, they will not be in harm's way because x-rays disappear in a split second. But if a person enters a room with a radioactive substance, they are now being exposed non-stop to the particles or rays of that substance. This type of exposure does exist in a controlled manner within the medical field. Nuclear medicine uses radioactive substances to diagnose ill patients. For their exam, patients ingest tiny amounts of radioactive substances, which will in turn pinpoint areas of cancer within the body. As you might guess, once the patient swallows the isotope, they now become the source of radiation. Medical staff and family members must wear protective gear for a short period of time when they are around these patients. In a twist of irony from this presentation, the nuclear medicine technologist uses x-rays to actually visualize the radioactive substance within the patient during their examination. So, both x-radiation and radioactivity are capitalized together in this unique specialty. In contrast, X-ray photons, or rays, are not radioactive, nor are they matter. X-ray photons are created by X-ray cameras, and the end result are temporary waves that come and go in a split second. These very strong waves can disrupt the makeup of atoms, but their existence only lasts as long as an X-ray operator holds down the exposure button. When the X-ray exposure is stopped, the photons discontinue. They don't remain in the atmosphere like alpha or beta particles. They simply disappear in a fraction of a second. Nuclear bombs are created by zapping atoms with neutrons, creating instability that has disastrous consequences. Nuclear reactors use unstable atoms to generate incredibly large amounts of power. In both cases, matter or elements are giving off dangerous particles or waves that must be respected. So although there is a marriage between radiation and radioactivity, X-ray radiation is less dangerous, more temporary, and safer in controlled environments. There are many documented sentinel events regarding radioactivity in human history. But X-rays have a very good track record. Of course, in the beginning of its discoveries, there were injuries involved. But within a few short years, we understood the characteristics and necessary protective measures when utilizing these special photons. As in anything, safety and precaution trump skepticism and fear. When it comes down to it, the science of radiation is extraordinarily beneficial.
I hope this video has been a help in understanding the differences between X-ray radiation and radioactivity. If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.